Hi guys, this is Prasad and in this video we will see how you can install Wildfly application server which is an open source application server. It is, it is an upstream version of enterprise application server uh, provided by Red Hat also known as JBoss. For downloading Wildfly application servers just head on over to wildfly.org once you are on this site you can download uh, the latest Wildfly application server which is currently 32.01 but in this video I'll be downloading the Wildfly application server which supports Java EE7 because my application has been um, programmed or compiled using that particular enterprise edition Java so uh, if you want a specific version uh, for example I wanted Java EE7 so I'll just search for um, let me search for EE Java EE yeah so anything with Java EE full will help uh, will be um, suitable for deploying the applications that are coded with uh, let's say Java EE 7 or 8 because after that it was named as Jakarta EE so the maybe the recent version of JBoss or the Wildfly uh, sorry the Wildfly won't be uh, compatible with the applications which are uh, coded with uh, Java Enterprise Edition so I have already downloaded the required version of Wildfly and uh, what we'll do is we'll transfer it to our server over here so let me just go to my directory where I had downloaded it so I think it's under this downloads so I'll just uh, copy this tar.gz file onto my server directory under my home and then let's log into the command line so as you can see I have this tar.gz so I am going to untar it so once I have untarred it I can see this is my folder let me go to this folder and I'll show you what is the directory structure like so you get a bin wherein all your startup scripts are there then you get standalone wherein your uh, standalone configuration files are there if you want to deploy it in the domain mode you can also do that and the configuration files will be under domain but in this example we are going to deploy it in the standalone mode so we will have a look at uh, the files so which will be under configuration so as you can see uh, there are several files but the file where we will make changes is the standalone.xml so there are a lot of changes that you can do for example you can add uh, JMS sources, JDPC sources and do other configuration but in this video since this is for the installation of Firefly and the deployment of application what we'll be doing is we'll be adding the IP instead of localhost so we'll just uh, get what is the IP of this particular uh, server which is over here this one I'll just copy it so I have the IP now so let me go to the standalone.xml file and we'll go to the bottom of the configuration file wherein you will be able to update the IP address so currently as you can see it is pointing to the local host so here we are going to update the IP of our server since we will be doing that because we want to access it from outside the server as well so we have updated the IP now we'll go to the bin directory and we will add and uh, rather we will reset the password of the admin user so for that there is a script called add user.sh 
it will ask you what type of user it is it's a management user username is admin since it will see that the admin already exists what do you want to do with it so i am going to update the password so i'll select a and password i'll just keep it as a simple password it will warn me i am okay with that so i'll repeat that password and um, i'll say here no because it's just a normal like i don't want to do any advanced configuration at this point of time so i'm done with my user creation now i am going to start my server uh, the script for this is standalone dot uh, sh so this is the command to start it no hump dot slash standalone dot sh and ampersand so i started it you can have a look at the no hub dot out log as well uh, i think it's already up so <clears throat> we will just or rather we can click on this url as well and it should open up um, your admin console so i'm just going to log into this so it gives me an option to deploy the application so currently let's see i mean either i can do upload a deployment i have this deployment on the server itself so let me check i think this is my deployment so for this example i am just going to copy it to my documents folder over here and will just upload the deployments from our document folder like so I'll just say upload click next uh, name is okay I suppose and it says that the deployment is successful and possibly you should be able to launch this yes we are able to launch this we can see the information as well in this noob servlet application so guys this was how you can install wildfly application server on fedora um, linux one more thing you want to check is the java version so right now i am using java version 11 for this particular example but the latest version of wildfly supports up to java 21 as well so i'm using the open jdk that comes with the fedora repository so that is what i'm using here so yeah that's about it guys for this video so thanks for watching hope you uh, got to learn something uh, in this video thank you